hi loves welcome back to the channel today if you are coming here for the very first time you are welcome if you're an og you already know i love you guys so much thank you for all of your support i really appreciate that today's tutorial you're going to be learning how to make this beautiful a-shaped gown with a flat sleeve and then a cape at the neckline so i folded my materials into four okay so what i have here is folded into four and i'm going to be cutting the front and the back together so in that case you're not going to be having anything like a zipper i also folded with the biggest part of my measurements which is my hip divided by four plus any amounts of allowances or ease that you want to add okay so i've marked out the shoulder line and from this shoulder line you're going to extend your tip towards the vertical axis and then mark out the bust point the waist line the hip line and then the length of the gown so in this case my length of this gown is 41 inches bust point is 12 inches waistline is 19 and then the hip line is 26 inches so i'm going to go ahead and draw all my lines across and then move over to the shoulder line divide your shoulder into two mark it out go down by half one inch for your shoulder slope and from this shoulder slope you are going to have to divide your bust circumference by six plus 1.5 and then mark your chest line okay and you are just going to connect this shoulder slope and the chest line which is going to serve as your armhole depth now moving over to the center again that is the folded part you are going to from that place insert your neck width and your neck depth so for this tutorial i'm going to be making use of four inches for the wideness of front and back and then for the front depth i made use of 3.5 inches and then for the back depth i make use of 1.5 inches you guys remember we are not having a zipper on this dress so that's why the neckline is a little bit wide so that it will be able to enter my head whenever i want to wear it okay with ease so on this um armhole depth you're going to have to divide it by two go in by half an inch and then on the chest line divide your bust circumference by four add your ease allowance for armhole if you are following me up till this time you should know that i like adding ease allowance on my armhole so that you'll be able to raise your hand easily okay so i went ahead to connect my armhole okay for the front armhole and the back armhole now going down to the bust points divide your bust circumference by four i added 1.5 inches for ease allowance because this client she specified that she don't want it very tight she wants it as our inspiration you can see on the screen okay on my thumbnail that is what i have right there so at this point i went ahead to do the same thing to the hip and my waist and then added one inch for my sewing allowance so at this point i am done marking out all my body measurements added my 1.5 inches is allowance plus stitching allowance of one inch okay so now whatever i have on my hip line i'm going to go ahead and note it and then that is what i'm going to add to my hemline but this hemline because i want it to be an a-shaped gown which she specified i'm going to add up one inch okay whatever i have on my hip line add one inch and then mark it out on your hemline and connect it to the hip so this will make it um form like an a-shaped gown okay so you guys um now that we are done i'm going to go ahead and cut out the back neckline first and then don't forget to add your shoulder stitching allowance and then from there you're going to have to first of all cut out your back armhole and then cut out the remaining body measurements of this gown okay 
so now that i'm done with this i'm going to add up two inches for my hemming allowance and then i will um remove one piece of this gown okay and then cut out my front neckline so you guys this is what we have we are done cutting out both the front and the back now it's time for us to cut out the facing and you can see i've brought in another piece i folded my actual piece and another piece which i'm going to use to cut out the facing so what you're going to do is to make sure that the they are aligning with each other that is the center are aligning with each other and you go ahead and cut out the neck after you cut out the neck remove the actual piece and then mark out the width and the depth which you want for your facing so for me i made use of 3.5 inches and i'm just going to quickly go ahead and cut it out next is for me to cut out the front so i'm going to bring in my front piece also do the same thing cut out the neckline and then mark out the exact width and depth that i have for the back so can you guys see what i'm doing it's actually very simple so after you cut out the shoulder you're going to repeat the same thing mark out 3.5 inches and then go ahead and cut it out now remember we have a cape for this gown and the cape is a half cape so i'm going to use this my front facing to cut out the cape okay so i'm going to leave it folded like this and i'm going to trace out exactly the same thing i have on this facing for the cape so i'm going to cut out the neckline first but while cutting it i'm going to input half an inch for joining the shoulder okay and then half an inch for turning out the cape So you guys can you see what i have right there so next is for me to show you what i've got okay first of all i'm going to input the facing for you guys to see and then the cape this is the cape and for this cape i don't want it to remain like this so i want to slant the center a little can you see what i'm doing so i'm going to from the upper part go in by about half an inch and slightly use my straight ruler to connect like this and once i am done with that i'm going to go ahead and cut it out so that is it for the cape and this is how i'm going to place it on the neckline okay and then put in my facing before i turn it out so now that we are done with this, I'm going to move over to cut out the sleeve. You guys, the sleeve is just like a normal sleeve, basic sleeve. So first of all, you are going to draw out the starting line. So this is the starting line. And from here, I'm going to measure the length of my sleeve. So for this sleeve, I want it to end a little bit below my elbow so the elbow is 12 inches so but then i'm going to make this to be 14 inches that is for the length i'm really very sorry that this chalk is not showing properly well this is simply because i'm trying to take my time the fabric is very slippery and it tries shifting whenever i need to, to chalk so i'm just trying to take my time okay now from the starting line i went ahead to mark out my biceps which is eight inches and then i'm just going to quickly calculate the cap height so for the cap height i use my boss circumference divided by four plus 0.5 inches so whatever i have i'm going to quickly mark my rand armhole divided by two okay and then i got whatever i have so next is for me to carve out my armhole 
can you see what i'm doing and i'm just going to quickly use my tape and ensure that i have my rant armhole okay now remember that this dress is actually a free dress so i'm going to have to need to input two inches okay these two inches is one inch for the ease and one inch for stitching allowance now i'm going down to the biceps divide your bicep by two plus two inches which is for this ease and seam allowance going down to the elbow as well divide your elbow by two plus two inches for your ease and your stitching allowance and you guys go ahead and cut out your sleeve so this sleeve is very simple it's a basic sleeve block i have a detailed tutorial on how to draft this in this channel so you can go have a look i will also link the the, uh, the video on the description box so that if you don't know how to draft your basic sleeve block you can go have a look at it okay so i'm going ahead to cut out my sleeve can you see guys and i'm also going to add my hemming allowance which i use one inch okay and you guys after you must have cut out your sleeve next is to get the cascading effects so i'm going to do this one after the other because like i said the fabric is stressful this fabric is really really gave me tough time okay so from the hem i'm going to go up by four inches okay that is how deep i want it to look so whatever you want if you want yours to extend to the biceps you go ahead and do that and i will simply connect it to the hem of my sleeve can you see what i'm doing okay so i'm going to make sure that my sleeves are arranged properly well and then cut it out so after i cut out i'm going to repeat the same thing to the other sleeve and then we we'll quickly go ahead and cut out our flare for that down part okay so you guys can you see i'm going to repeat the same thing for the for the second sleeve exactly what i have on the first sleeve so i'm going to quickly connect it to the hem and then cut it out so can you see And then once i am done with this i'm going to go ahead and cut out my flare you guys for this flare first of all is for me to measure the round circumference of the damp part of this my sleeve okay so i'm going to use my tape measure and measure all around it so after measuring what i have is 17 inches now i want this flare not to be too full if you want it too full you can divide by six points to eight but i want it to be half less so i divided by 3.14 and went ahead to fold in my fabric and then cut out my flare okay so remember that i got 5.14 so from the pointed part of the triangle i'm going to measure down 5.5 inches why is because i want it to have a little bit of gathering effects on the radius okay and then i'm just going to quickly measure out the length i want for my flare so i made use of five inches initially but i'm still going to trim it out because the flare is not that long you guys i hope you guys understand so i i just cut out just one and i'm going to use this one to cut out the remaining one okay so this is how to cut out just one but then if you want to cut out two at the same time you're going to have to fold your fabric into four and then repeat exactly what i did while cutting out just one okay to cut out just one you're going to have to fold your fabric just into two and then fold into a triangle but for you to cut out two pieces at once fold your fabric into two and fold into a triangle okay so after this i'm going to go ahead and cut out my pockets you guys this is very simple to cut out just place your hand and trace the shape of your hands and then input seam allowances okay 
so this is for my pockets can you see and i'm just going to go ahead and cut it out so you guys can you see what i have this is for my pocket and for this pocket i've cut out four piece okay two piece for one part and two piece for the other parts you guys now it's time for us to start our stitching so for the stitching this is my front piece i'm going to go ahead and bring in the cape and then quickly arrange it into my neck line okay so this is also for the back i'm going to go ahead and arrange it and after that i'm going to bring in the front as well go over to my sewing machine and stitch my cape okay so i'm going to go ahead to my sewing machine and stitch my cape just like the way i showed you i've stitched it and next is for me to remove the facing and place the cape on one side of my neckline just like this and i'm just going to use my pins to hold it down in place and after i hold it down in place i'm going to go ahead and place my facing on top okay and once i place after placing it on top i'm going to go over to my sewing machine and stitch after stitching i would top stitch so i will do this for both the front and the back facing and you guys this is what we have so i'm just i'm just going to quickly turn this over for you guys to see what we have can you see my my cape so i'm going to use my hemming gum to hold this down in place and quickly come here to show you guys what i have okay so you guys are finished hemming it down and this is what we have right now it's time for us to sew our flares together so for this flare i'm going to make it firm by using paper gum to fuse into the flare piece and then use my crino line to stitch into it okay so i'm just going to quickly stitch and like i told you previously i'm still going to cut the flare because it was too long so this is my flare and this is the sleeve i've also joined my sleeve and then secured the rough edges with my weaving machine i also left about half an inch at the upper part of the pocket which i'm going to use to sew into my garment okay so now this is the flare i've run a gathered stitch i'm just going to go ahead and gather it to be enough for it to accommodate the cascading effect on the actual sleeve so you guys this is what we have i'm just going to sew in my sleeve into my dress right now and come over and show you guys what i have but before that let me just show you how you are going to input your pockets okay so for the pockets remember that the waistline is 19 inches so from the shoulder i'm going to measure down to 19 inches and i'm just going to quickly measure what i have on my pocket the length of my pocket and from that 19 inches i'm going to mark it down can you see what i'm doing and then i'm just going to quickly sew in my pocket into this seam allowance okay can you see what i have so first of all is for me to use my pins to hold this down in place so can you see what i'm doing my side seams are still stitched together so from this 19 inches i'm going to run a back stitch okay to hold it down and then fixing my pocket i don't know if you get what i'm saying okay but if you have fixed a pocket before you already know what i am trying to explain so this is my sleeve you guys can you see can you see this is our sleeve i've sewed it in i've also sewed in the pocket together so i'm just going to turn it around to show you guys how to secure your pocket together okay so i'm just going to hold it down like this and then stitch towards that pocket side okay can you see and after stitching i'm just going to go ahead and loosen the thread that i have right on the pocket area so you guys next is for me to hem the down of my gown so i'm just going to go over to my sewing machine and then hem the down 
and you guys that will be all for this tutorial so i'm just going to go and hem it and quickly come over to show you guys what i have the next you're going to see is this on mannequin and you guys this would be the end of this tutorial if this tutorial was helpful please guys give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you have not and i will see you in my next one bye